Hello, I'm Sarah. Today, I'm going to read you a story about overcoming your fears. It's called "Here Comes Gosling." It's written by Sandy Asher and Keith Graves. One morning, Froggy heard a tap, tapity tapping at his door. Wake up, Froggy! Rabbit called. I have great news. It's very early for news, Rabbit. Froggy croaked. It's never too early for great news, Rabbit told him. Gander and Goose are coming to visit us, and they're bringing their new baby, Gosling. Love new babies, Froggy cried. When will they be here? Soon, said Rabbit. How soon? Asked Froggy. One o'clock, said Rabbit. That's not soon, cried Froggy. That's later, much later. Can't wait that long. Yes, you can, Rabbit said. We have a lot to do before our guests arrive. What is there to do except wait? Froggy asked. And wait and wait and wait. First, we need to find a pleasant spot for our picnic. Rabbit said. Okie dokie, Froggy croaked. Love picnics. Off they hopped to search for a spot. While they peeked and poked about, Froggy made up a song. Waiting for baby to play with me. Wait, can't wait, and wait, gotta wait, and wait, gonna wait, and wait and see. At last, they found a perfectly pleasant spot. Froggy picked flowers to welcome the baby. Is it one o'clock yet? He asked. Not yet, said Rabbit. Can't wait! Froggy cried. Yes, you can, Rabbit told him. It's time to fix lunch: spinach salad and carrot cake. Okie dokie, Froggy croaked. Love lunch. Off they hopped to gather vegetables from Rabbit's garden. While they sliced and stirred, Froggy sang his song. Waiting for baby to play with me. Wait, can't wait, and wait, gonna wait, and wait, gonna wait, and wait and see. At last, the salad was tossed and the cake was frosted. Rabbit packed everything into a picnic basket. Froggy chose his favorite books from Rabbit's shelf to share with the baby. Is it one o'clock yet? He asked. Not yet, said Rabbit. Can't wait! Froggy cried. Yes, you can, Rabbit told him. We have just enough time to get ourselves tidied up after all our hard work, and then our company will be here. Okie dokie! Froggy croaked. Love company. Off he hopped back to his own house. While he soaked and scrubbed, he sang his song. Waiting for baby to play with me. Wait, can't wait, and wait, gotta wait, and wait, gonna wait, and wait and see. At last, Froggy was ready. He hurried back to Rabbit's house, carrying his best toy, Mr. Green, to surprise the baby. Is it one o'clock yet? He asked. Yes, said Rabbit. It is. And sure enough, there was a tap, tapity tapping at the door. Froggy dashed outside to meet the company. Love new babies! He croaked. Ah! Gosling cried. It was a loud and terrible sound. Froggy hopped away in alarm. Honk! Gosling cried. Froggy hopped clear down the path. Honk! Gosling cried. Froggy hid behind a tree. Froggy said, "Rabbit, come say hello to Gander and Goose and Gosling." Froggy didn't say a word. 
Why are you hiding, Froggy? Rabbit asked. That baby does not like me, Froggy said. That baby honked at me. That baby hasn't met you yet, said Rabbit. And you've been looking forward to meeting her all day. Remember, you can't wait. Yes, I can, said Froggy. Honk! Gosling cried, and Froggy waited a long time while Gosling went on crying. Maybe she's hungry, Gander said. Maybe she's thirsty, Goose said. Maybe she's tired, Rabbit said. Maybe she needs her diaper changed. Maybe she wants to play with her rattle. Maybe she wants to be picked up. Maybe she wants to be put down. Honk! Gosling cried. Froggy went on waiting. While he waited, he found he had time to hum his song. Hum a hum baby, hum a hum me. While he hummed, he tapped his toes. While he tapped his toes, he jiggled Mr. Green. The next thing Froggy knew, he'd stepped out from behind the tree, and he and Mr. Green were whirling and twirling. Wait, can't wait, and wait, gotta wait, and wait, gonna wait, and wait, and see. What are you doing, Froggy? asked Rabbit. Waiting, said Froggy. To everyone's amazement, Gosling had stopped crying. Honk, she said. It was a soft, sweet sound. Froggy whirled a little closer. Gosling smiled a goosey smile. Froggy twirled closer still, dancing Mr. Green out in front of him. Gosling laughed a goosey laugh. Honk. <laughs> Froggy let Gosling hold Mr. Green. Gander let Froggy hold Gosling. Gosling gave Froggy a goosey kiss. I think Gosling likes you, Froggy, said Rabbit. Love Gosling, Froggy croaked. Off they all hopped and waddled to the perfectly pleasant picnic spot. There they played games ate spinach salad and carrot cake and admired the bouquet of flowers. Then they read Froggy's favorite books, one after another, until Gosling yawned a goosey yawn. It's time for bed, Rabbit whispered. Okie dokie, Froggy croaked. Toodaloo, said Gander. Toodaloo, said Goose. Toodaloo, said Rabbit. Toodaloo, said Froggy. And the new baby gosling snored a goosey snore. Honk. I hope you enjoyed the story. Join me next time for the next story. Goodbye. Cảm ơn các bạn đã lắng nghe. Mong rằng các bạn cảm thấy thú vị khi đọc cuốn sách này cùng tụi mình. Cuốn sách nói với The Long Book này được thực hiện bởi Lotus Community là một dự án thư viện phí lợi nhuận. Lotus Community mong muốn những cuốn sách tiếng Anh chất lượng tốt có thể tới tay mọi gia đình khắp đất nước Việt Nam. Để tìm hiểu thêm về dự án, các bạn vui lòng ghé qua lotuscommunity.org.vn nhé.